This is Mr. Barron. I'm going to be showing you, with my student assistants, how to actually use a colorimeter. So this right here is our colorimeter. And for our colorimeter, we are going to be measuring how much light transmits through our unknown sample. So we have here a sample that we want to measure the concentration of. We've already created a calibration curve. And what we want to do is measure the absorbance of the light. I have a cuvette here of deionized water. This is the first most important step of the whole thing. You want to make sure that you notice that the cuvette has these lines on one side of it, and then it looks clear on the other side. The light, when you look inside the cuvette here, has a white line that shows the direction that the light actually travels. So we want to make sure that the clear side is going to be in the direction that the light is pointed. We have some tissue paper here, and the tissue paper can be used to make sure the sides are very clean. I'm going to put it into the colorimeter. The colorimeter gets plugged into channel 1 in your calculator, and then you need to make sure that the calculator is plugged in. When you plug it in, you're going to hear a sound. It's going to go beep, beep, boop, beep. In a moment, it'll beep, beep, boop, beep. There we go. Then we're going to turn on the calculator. And then we're going to click where it says Apps, this button right here. And then we're going to go down to where it says Datamate. You click Enter, and then it loads Datamate. And it loads the software. You'll see it says an absorbance reading. You really need to make sure that the absorbance reading is zero because we want to make sure that the water is not absorbing light because we're going to try and measure this blue over here. So you will really want to make sure that it says zero. So I'm going to come over here. There's a couple things I have to think about. I'm measuring blue. My solution is blue, so I need to be shining red light. Red has a larger wavelength than blue, so we want to select the highest wavelength. It's already selected. There's a calibration button. I'm going to hit the cal button, and then you'll see the device blink. It's blinking calibrating. And in theory, what we should see on the calculator is it should say zero. But it doesn't say zero. So we've calibrated the colorimeter, but we haven't calibrated the calculator. So I'm going to click 1. I'm going to hit 1 for going to setup. And you want to make sure that you're writing this stuff down. Hit 1. And then what you want to do is you want to hit 0. You'll see on the calculator it says number 3 and 0. So I'm going to hit the number 3 button on the calculator. And then it's going to change to another screen because it's going to ask you to select the channel that you want to zero at. And we want to select channel 1 because that's where our colorimeter is plugged in. I'm hitting 1. And then you should see a number pop up and it'll say press enter to zero. So I'm going to hit enter. When you hit enter, it goes to hopefully zero. We'll see it pop up in zero in just a second. All right, let's see if we get a zero. Now we've got a number close to zero, so we've got a problem. It's not totally calibrated. So we're going to come back over here. We're going to hit the calibration button. We will see the light blink again, and we'll see if this absorbance changes to zero. Now sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes our value is still kind of messed up, and it still is messed up here. So we're going to go to setup again, and then we're going to click after setup the zero button, which is hitting three. It's going to go to that additional screen where it's going to ask us to confirm that we want to do it on channel one. So I'm going to hit one for channel one. And then I'm going to hit, after that, enter to zero it. And this time, hopefully, we'll get a number closer to zero. And we're waiting for the number. Here we go. You'll see in the top right-hand corner, this is our absorbance value, and it's now zero. So now I'm going to take out what I've now calibrated it as. And now that it's calibrated, we want to leave it calibrated and leave the calculator on. And we can now start measuring all of our different samples. I'm going to put the blue solution in, make sure the cuvette's facing the right direction. And then I should see the absorbance automatically change. And I do. I have my absorbance reading. And in your lab notebook, you would record 0.448. If you guys have any other questions, please let me know.